Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So the Miami Heat, they beat the Milwaukee Bucks 119-114 to 114 to go up 3-1. And Jimmy Butler had a historic performance, 56 points, 2 assists, 9 rebounds, and he played 41 minutes. I will say, Jimmy Butler needs help. You know, he scored 22 points in the first quarter. He had a crazy fourth quarter to close it out. You know, we were pretty much down like 13 with like six minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and he completely took over. You know, it doesn't matter who's on him, Drew Holiday, uh, Giannis, Middleton. He's blown by everybody. He's using the mismatches. He's angling people out the way. He's getting to the free throw line. He's using his jump shot. You know, he's putting his head down, dropping the shoulder, getting to the rim. He's doing everything. And in my opinion, he does need help. He needs help if we're going to win. You know, Kevin Love, I know that he's not the best all-around player anymore. He's a lot older and washed, but we're going to need a little bit more from him. But let's really start with the star players. With Tyler Hero being out, Victor Oladipo being out, Bam out of bow, he has to be better. I know he had 15 points, 2 assists, and 8 rebounds, and it did come out this morning that he is dealing with a hamstring injury, so I will give him some leeway. But last season, in the playoffs, and Jimmy Butler was dealing with knee issues as well, and guess what? He still led our team, so I'm still expecting more from Bam out of bow. You know, he's our second best player. He was an all-star this season. He said he wants to be one of the Miami Heat greats. He said he wants to be in the same conversation as D. Wade, Udonis Haslam, Alonzo Mourning, Tim Hardaway, all those great Heat legends. That means he's going to be held to that standard. You know, I know that he's great on defense. And once again, I know he's dealing with a hamstring injury. And he's not complaining about it. The Miami Heat aren't mentioning it. Bam Adebayo's not crying about it. This came out through Shams. So... I will salute him for that, for being available and playing through injury. But we need more from Bam and Abile if we're going to close out this series. Our role players, you know, Duncan Robinson, I know that he's been hot of late. We're going to need a little bit more three-pointers from him. Max Schuess only had zero points and played 17 minutes. Unacceptable. Gabe Vincent had 10 points. Caleb Martin has been great. He had 12-1-9. and nine. Caleb Martin has been a great glue guy, hitting timely threes, great on the defensive end. You know, he was worth every single penny that we gave him. But also, too, Kyle Lowry. I know Kyle Lowry, he's also dealing with a hamstring injury, a knee injury. He's always dealing with an injury, you know? And you know that I've always cooked Kyle Lowry this whole season. I've been cooking him since he got here. We're going to need more from Kyle Lowry. Six points. Now, I will say he did have a great game in terms of the total the total fourth quarter. I think he had a huge impact in the fourth quarter. He also had five assists and four rebounds. So he didn't score much, but he did implement, you know, he, he was positive in the game of basketball, in other ways, he made winning plays, but we need more from Kyle Lowry. We're going to need 12 to 15 points from Kyle Lowry. You know, with no Tyler Hero, Bam and about injured, we're going to need more. We're going to have to expect Kyle Lowry to step up. That is why we brought Kyle Lowry here. So in terms of the role players, they're going to have to help Jim. They're going to have to help Jimmy Butler overall. Jimmy Butler is going to have to score 60 points for us to try and win a playoff game. Impossible. I know that he did it. Last night, he dropped 56 points, but we cannot expect Jimmy Butler to continue to do this. He looked absolutely exhausted in the first quarter. We still have a lot more playoff basketball to play, and I know that Jimmy Butler is going to continue to play at this elite level, but I still need more from Bam. I still need more from Kyle, and the role players have to step up. It's time to go. You know, I know that Struess and Gabe, they're playing for contracts. You know, Duncan Robinson, he's playing to stay on the team. There's a lot of factors going on right now. You know, so especially our, like our role players, they have to step up and help Jimmy Butler. You know, there's no way that as great as Jimmy Butler is in the playoffs, you know, the fact that he has low budget and low talent help is a disgrace. And that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time. But the Miami Heat need to get Jimmy Butler help immediately. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2000 subscribers.